talk specifically, if you could, about uh, the program that you have here in the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge USA and kind of how this whole program came together for you. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, what I found with GT3, which is really nice, you can see our, our, our we have a Hertz sponsorship, and uh, the ability to B2B marketing is really, really good. So, you know, Hertz is a sponsor of the team, they work with Porsche, Porsche helps Hertz, and then combined with that, we're doing the car insurance, P1 uh, insurance, and it all comes together in a very, very nice way to where you get real value for racing. I love to race, I have a ton of fun, but now, now you know, sponsors get real value. Talk a little bit about just marrying that passion for motorsports with business and kind of, I mean, that's that's got to be the kind of the sweet spot for you, right? No, absolutely. I'm, I'm in the venture capital business, so I invest in risky young startups. Uh, a lot of people think racing is risky as well. Uh, the difference is my startups take five to seven to eight years to actually um, become a real company. Uh, whereas racing, I can get it all done in a weekend. So it's kind of like you got the startup of the weekend. Oh, what's the, how's the track? How's the, you know, how's the car set up? And you actually go through the whole weekend trying to figure that out, and then you have the race. And it's very similar to a startup. So I, I really like to, I see the, the I marry the both of them, and, and it's, it's a lot of fun. How did you get involved in racing? Uh, well, as a kid, I did uh, motorcycle racing, uh, and then I, I fell into computers, so I didn't race for like 20 years, uh, and then got into off-road dirt truck racing. Uh, and uh, did that for a little bit. And then a buddy of mine knew the France family uh, and said, hey, Mark, you should go do sports car racing. So unbeknownst to them, I had never been in a sports car. I had never been on a racetrack. The first time I ever did it was a 24 hours of Daytona in uh, January of 2014. And it was pretty crazy going around in the Porsche and see Emerson or Fittipaldi go by and Ray Hall go by. I'm going, these guys are crazy. Well, it took me uh, through the roar a couple of days. I got my f feet underneath me and, uh, and continued, and the rest has been history.